Now to an Eyewitness News exclusive incredible surveillance video of brazen thieves. You saw it right there just ripping an ATM right out of a convenience store. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio takes us through a crime spree that spans the entire state. The video is stunning. Police say the precision and timing with which they did it shows that these were pros. They knew what they were doing and they clearly have done it before. This is the Henny Penny on Route 1 in Old Saybrook. It's almost 3 in the morning and the store is closed. Now watch as two men enter the store, wrap a cable wire around the ATM and rip it right out of the store. The whole thing happens in seconds. Police say these thieves are clearly experienced. The teamwork that they use is kind of incredible. They coil the rope up and throw it into the back of the uh, range, stolen Range Rover, and uh, they're out in a little over a minute. This is another angle. You can see the driver exiting the car with the crowbar used to get inside. Next, you see the men pry open the door. One man holds the door open as the other two men run inside. A fourth man driving a stolen Range Rover hits the gas and the force pulls the ATM out and collapses the doors off the frame. And here you see as the engine is revved, the ATM is pulled into the parking lot. The men load it into the trunk and they are off. After this, they hit two more convenience stores on the shoreline. After Old Saybrook, the same vehicle uh, with the same individuals um, did do the uh, same type or similar crime in the town of Essex and uh, then in the town of Old Lyme. Here is the timeline as we know it. The SUV is stolen from a car dealership in East Windsor a week ago. Since then, it is used in a carjacking in Cromwell, an armed robbery at a gas station in Meriden on Friday, an ATM theft in East Haven on Sunday, another ATM theft this morning in Old Saybrook, and then the men attempted to steal ATMs from a Cumberland Farms in Essex and from a gas station in Old Lyme, but were unable to rip them out. Surveillance cameras did get a license plate on the Range Rover. It's gray and has Connecticut dealer plates DA5154. Police say if you see this car, please contact them immediately. Now, an interesting side note to this story is that over the past year and a half to two years, there were a string of ATM robberies and a team of thieves were arrested. But recently, some of them are out on bond and police feel that they may be the people involved in this. In Old Saybrook, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.